Hello guys, this is the second part of our WordPress security course. In this part, I will talk about broad force attack. The broad force attack is the simplest hacking attack. In this attack, the hacker enters random combinations of username and passwords until it matches the correct combination. Broad force attack can also slow down a website or even it can make it inaccessible. This means that we should limit invalid login attempts to prevent this kind of attack. Unfortunately, by default, WordPress has no limit for invalid login attempts. But don't worry, we can add this feature to our server. In this video, I will use a free tool called Fail to Ban. This tool scans the log file of Apache or Nginx for too many invalid login attempts and block the user IP for a specified amount of time. For more details, you can read this paragraph. As you can see, I am entering incorrect username and password again and again but WordPress is not blocking me. Let's solve this problem by installing and configuring the fail to ban application on our server. For the installation, you need root as such access. The first thing is first, I update the server. Now I write a command to install fail to ban. After installation, I create a filter. Filter actually watch the Apache or Nginx logs and ban the malicious IP. The next thing is jail. Jail is a fancy name for a configuration file. Here, in this file, we enable the filter which we created earlier. In this file, we also mention log path and ban time. Now I create a file and copy this script. Ok great, now I update this file as per my requirements. I am using Bitnami WordPress, so first I update the log path. This is the path where Bitnami WordPress is storing logs. Please make sure you put the correct path. In your case, this path may be different. The last change is max try and ban time. I want to ban the user for one day after three invalid tries. Now I save the file. As you can see, the file is saved. The very last thing is to enable and start the jail. As you can see, the jail is added and start. Now let's see the result. The ban is not working. I want to make some other changes. I change the value of ban time. I also restart fail to ban. And now I check the status of my jail. Now you can see we have two jails SSHD and WordPress. The WordPress jail is created by me. Let's see the details of the WordPress jail. You can see here. Currently banned, the value is 0. This means that no user is banned until now. I test the result again. And this time I am banned because I already tried multiple times invalid password. So Apache st stopped responding. Now Apache is not responding for me.